Good evening. You are listening to News Catchup, and here are the top headlines of the day. The Allahabad High Court granted bail to former Union Minister and BJP leader Swami Chinmayanand, who has been accused of sexual exploitation by a law student. Third positive coronavirus case confirmed in Kerala. Patient stable. On Sabri Mala Temple, the Supreme Court said that it will frame legal question to be adjudicated by a nine-judge bench on religious discrimination against women at various religious places. The Election Commission transferred Delhi South East DCP Chinmoy Biswal, citing that ongoing situation in Shaheen Bagh and Jamia Nagar area this week. A Chinese state media report has stated that coronavirus, which has infected more than 14,000 people in two dozen countries, may be transmitted through the digestive tract. One 75 activist and several women's group wrote on an open letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, expressing horror regarding hate speeches made by BJP leaders. Nirma Limited is considering partnering with either Apollo Global Management Incorporated or Bain Capital to bid for the cement unit of Indian conglomerate Imami Group. ITC no longer among India's top 10 most valued companies. Yusuf Zamil, a senior reporter working in Deccan Chronicle, based out of Srinagar, awarded the 1920 Pen Gauri Lankesh Award. Manya Jairam Lindsay, younger sister of social activist Aruna Roy, died in Hitchin, United Kingdom, after suffering from cancer. Palestinian president has stated that Palestine won't have any ties. With Israel or United States of America, a moment of silence was observed in honor of Kobe Bryant at a Super Bowl in Miami. India star opener Rohit Sharma ruled out of the upcoming ODI and Test series against New Zealand. You were listening to Shrutij Verma. Keep yourself updated by listening to.